What's going on guys? Alex here with 814 EDC and today I have a couple quick unboxings to do for you guys. Um, first one is coming in from Casey Lynch over at Lynch Northwest and this is coming in from Knife Dope aka Jason. Um, I will leave a link to his um, YouTube channel down below. Please go check him out. He's a very cool dude. Um, and this is a knife I believe in the Lefty Passaround group. Um, I think it is a Tempest Knives um, Jetstream prototype. So I'm excited to check that out. And then, like I said, this is coming in from Casey Lynch, AKA Lynch Northwest. And this is a set of scales that I bought for the um, Delica 4 series. You guys, if, if you caught the video probably two weeks ago or so by now, um, I bought one of the K390 Delica 4 Warncliffs. Um, and I really like that knife, but I wanted to spruce it up a little bit and make it feel more premium. Um, and I knew that Casey, had done some um, Delica 4 mods. I think last I knew that they sold them as, as full, you know, bladed knives with mods done to them, but they actually sell scales. Um, and I believe there's only two sets that are, or two finishes that are left. Um, the, um, the full blue one, which is the one that I bought here. And I think there's a bronze one as well, but there's like eight different options that they are uh, just waiting to be restocked. Um, but before we get into that, unboxing knife is the Tactile Knife Co. Rock Wall or Golf Wall in the golf wall pattern. Uh, you guys can see went golfing today uh, with my brother-in-law, um, not really my brother-in-law, my fiance's sister's husband, aka my sister, my fiance's brother-in-law. Um, but he's like my best friend, so uh, he's basically my brother-in-law. But went golfing today. Didn't have the best round, but it was nice. We went to a new course, got out, you know, checked out a new. Uh, like I said, a new course we had never been to before, which is exciting. Um, I always like doing that, you know, seeing different things, but been carrying this with me the last couple of different times that I golf, just because, you know, it, it feels like it feels like it's meant to be. So we're going to get into the Lynch Northwest packaging here. I always get super excited unboxing Lynch Northwest packages for some reason. I don't know why, it's just like... It's just cool. Like I really enjoy getting gear in from him. Um, so this comes with, I pulled it out of the sleeve by accident, but so it comes like this with the Lynch Northwest logo. And just something about the logo I love with the dog and the American flag and the app, like that all just goes together so well and I really enjoy that. Um, so Delica Mod 2 Scale Kit Service Blue. With the flag on the back. Now, I'm going to be honest, the blue was probably not my first choice. Um, I'm a pretty plain Jane guy, so I think I would have went with um, maybe just like the Stand Blasted or the Stone Wash one. But again, they are out of stock, and I wanted to get, I wanted to get them, you know, for the knife. Um, so I jumped on it. But of course, thanks, Alexander, for your PA support, signed by Casey. I always love getting these in just because he, he personally writes every one of them and he always draws a little dude on the bottom. I've always had one of these hanging up on my bulletin board just because it's a cool little touch. Then of course there is the Instagram website and email if you guys are interested and you don't know much about Casey um, or what he does. So here looks like I got some paracord um, with a little jet tag, which is nice. I want to get it some more of, he has some cool shirts on there with his logo, and he also has a cool, uh, a couple cool hoodies and crewnecks, um, Carhartt and Under Armour, and sometime this fall, whenever I get around to it, I want to buy one of those, just because I like supporting him. I have a hat that I wear all the time with his logo on it, um, and he just, I don't know, just something about it is cool. I'm not a huge pry bar guy, so I've never bought one of his pry bars, but I've bought plenty of his clips, and now I've bought a set of his scales, um, so, you know. Very, very exciting, but here we have the, in multiple bags, you guys can see the blue sticking out, which is super duper cool. It has the speed holes cut in there. Then it also comes with a custom deep carry clip, which is another reason why I wanted to go with this route is you can go on and buy a, you know, a three hole um, typical Spyderco deep carry clip, but I just, I don't know. Something about having like its own Delica 4 clip that's specific to this mod set just kind of spoke to me. Um, so of course this one is blue. 
Then you have a raw titanium backspacer right there. Then you have, seems like a hardware kit. Um, we'll break into there real quick. One screw, so I don't know. One little screw, I'm assuming this might, you might need one screw as opposed to what you get on the knife. Then you get a Lynch Northwest sticker, love clicking these, and you get a COA. So um, August, 2023, Delica Mob 2 scale kit, 6AL, 4V titanium and service blue. Right there, very, very cool. And uh, yeah, that's it in the box. So I don't know if this is for the jet tag or what this is for. Um, maybe a some beads. Uh, if you want to collect some beads, I think he does some, you know, cool different variations. I think he does a, um, like a cheeseburger or something. He has like multiple, each bead is like the patty, the lettuce, the tomato, the buns, and you kind of build it on your lanyard, which is really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to put this together. I will probably make a reel or, or a, uh, yeah, an Instagram, no, not a reel, a, uh, a short on YouTube, um, showcasing these off. I haven't made one of those in a couple months but i was thinking the other day about starting to make some more because they're just a good way to get some uh more traffic on the channel but um yeah that was the lynch northwest um delica 4 mod kit now we're gonna break into the tempest knives jet stream which i think the pre-order still might be up if it is up the link will be in the description down below to um, TempestKnives.com. You guys know Tempest Knives is the brainchild of Casey over at Knives Fast. This, I believe, is the technically fourth knife. Uh, he started out with the Mach 51, which did not get funded, but then he went right into the Pinion, which was a, a success. Then he most recently came out with the um, the Microburst, which I do have. I love that knife. I also had a Pinion, but I am selling it for the Microburst. I just liked it better. Uh, now he's coming out with the Jetstream. I did not pull the trigger on the Jetstream just because I wanted to wait and I figured I could get one at a later time if I wanted to. Um, he's, he always has them you know, available after the run goes through. But it comes in here. Breaking in, breaking in. Oh, they really sealed this thing up. All right, there it is, guys. Bigger than I expected. Um, I had not really thought to look at any specific specs or anything like that yet, but it is a little bit bigger than I had originally thought it would be. Let me stick this back in the packaging right here. Here is the knife, guys. So you guys can see right away, it's a little bit different than what Casey has had in the past. If you guys are familiar with his stuff, he typically has been doing micarta runs. Um, well, now he changed it up and did a full titanium model, so. There is the pivot there that Casey has designed for himself. I really like that. I've always really admired that on his knives. You guys can see it has a back flipper. Obviously has the standard sort of Tempest Knives hole that is um, very similar to, <clears throat> excuse me, the Pinions hole. Has a mill titanium pocket lip that is lefty or righty carry with um, the filler tab. Has a back spacer with a lanyard area. We're going to give it a flick. Comes right out of there. A beautiful, I call this more of a spear point. Um, nice big belly, thin behind the edge. Um, kind of right in the middle for blade stock thickness. The um, prototype is in D2. And there is the Tempest Knives logo. I will get full information on everything um, that is included in the drop for my full review. I think it's in either 14C28N or 154CM. I can't remember 100% um, off the top of my head but it is a liner lock. Good action. 
A little bit of blade play, drops, thumb flick. Has some good acoustics to it. I really enjoy those. Just a big, thick knife. Um, it is comfortable in hand. I can get all four fingers on there, kind of choke up a little bit. Um, yeah, so this is this is good. I, I was not, you know, I was not expecting it to be bad by any means. Again, I, I really enjoy Casey's designs, and I've seen a lot of positive reviews about this. And I think it came in at a pretty solid price point from what I can remember. Um, but again, I will talk about that and, you know, hit on that more with my full overview or review of this knife. Um, but first impressions is I like it quite a bit. It's fidgety. It's fun. has a great acoustic sound whenever you just bang it open. Um, I really like that a lot. But it's fun, fidgety. Middle finger flick it. Drops to your nail. I think they did a stone wash um, titanium as well as a blue version. Um, but again, I will confirm and talk about that more so on my four view. So um, yeah, but this is a cool knife and I can't wait to get it in pocket and get to uh, experience a little bit more. So I'm going to wrap this up now, guys. Of course, this was my unboxing of the Tempest Knives Jetstream prototype as well as the Lynch Northwest Mod 2 scales for my Delica for one cliff k390 super excited about those super excited about the um the jet stream prototype getting that in a pocket carrying it around and uh yeah i hope you guys have a uh, fantastic rest your memorial day weekend i don't know when you'll be seeing this i'm filming this on saturday right now you guys are probably going to see this on sunday um so have a great rest of your day today have a great rest of your monday on remote or uh, excuse me labor day and uh yeah but leave a comment down below let me know what your guys' thoughts are on the scales let me know your thoughts are on the knife just anything in general um i'd like to hear what you guys have to say and i always try to respond back and uh you know communicate with you guys so but i'm gonna wrap this up now so thank you guys again so much for watching i greatly appreciate each and every single one of you guys i hope you have a fantastic rest of your morning day evening night whenever you're watching this and i'll talk to you guys in the next one peace